Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJSPRC. Today I want to show you guys a little bit about servos. Basically the ones you're seeing right now are Savox. Show you the difference between a couple of their, their brands that they have, the most popular ones for the RC vehicles. Let's start with the uh, one of the kind of basic uh, a lot of people use this guy here for uh, crawlers. This is the Savox SC0251MG, basically meaning the MG's metal gears. Uh, the weight is 61 grams, speed is a 0 0.18, and the torque at 6 volts is 222.2 ounces of torque. Um, great servo, plastic case, metal gears, great servo for even then for crawlers. You could use it for crawlers, you could use it for a short course, uh, you could use this one with multiple vehicles. It is 222 ounces of torque of this guy right here. Now if you go see this is a bigger brother let's say, the Savox 0231MG, again it's metal gears, only difference it has an SW in front is for waterproof. Now the SW0231MG is weight is, was, yeah, was weight 66.0 kilograms, the speed is 0 0.17, at 208.3 ounces of torque. If we try to compare these two here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. No, my camera is moving a bit, sorry about that. 208, 222. There's a little bit of difference in torque between both, but what's good about this guy here, it is waterproof. This is a good upgrade for any Traxxas vehicle. It is a direct bolt-on and it's waterproofed. Now if we go in the Savox a little bit higher end servos, if we compare the uh, 1256 TG, it has 277 ounces of torque, speed is a 0.15, it's the SA 1256 TG, it's 52.4 grams. The TG stands for titanium gears, great servo. Uh, in my axial rate, I have two of these, basically for a dual steer, and at 277 ounces of torque, great torque, great servo, uh, basically titanium gears, aluminum casing to help dissipate that heat, and we'll, uh, a digital servo will always create a little bit of a heat, and what's good about these casing here, this will help to cool it down. Now. It's like his big brother here, the SW1210SG. Again, SG for steel gears. Uh, SW, basically it's waterproof, that's why you guys see it blue. And kilograms at 71s, it's a 0.13 at 277 ounces of torque. It has the same torque as this guy here. The major difference about this guy here is if you give it 7.4 volts directly that's why it's hv approved high voltage this guy here can give you up to even 319 ounces of torque massive torque for a small servo again it's an aluminum casing waterproof a lot for the uh, crawlers you can even go with the uh, the traxxas vehicles now for the ones that don't like basically orange case or let's say a blue case, you have the black edition of Savox. This guy right here, it's a 1258 TG, ATM gears. This guy has 166.6 ounces of torque at 0 0.08 in speed, fast servo at 52.4 grams. And this is the SC1258 TG and it's all in black. Again, aluminum casing again, it's hard to see because it is black. 
and you have the 1256 TG. This guy here, 277, 277 ounces of torque at 0.15, 52.4 grams. This is the SC1256 TG. It's the same amount of torque as this guy, and this guy non uh, at six volts. And let's open this guy and take a look a little bit closer on it. In the case, they give you some gears, sort of horns, I say, uh, with some screws and some stickers. Let's put this aside. Now, looking at the black edition, great servo. Again, aluminum casing. The biggest difference, what they do is basically this wire right here. It's not like a three bare wire. It has a wrapping around it, even in the connection here, a little bit, a little bit differently here, a little bit more solid. If we take this guy and I take another Salvox normal here to compare, they are the same size. Aluminum casing again. The only difference is this is orange, and if you look at the wiring. cleaner look and a great servo. Again, this is the 1256TG, titanium gears, great servo. Make sure for the application you're doing to grab the correct servo. You could go overboard uh, with a servo. Basically, let's say your vehicle would be great with uh, 166 ounces of torque like this guy right here. This would be great for a short course. Basically, my SCTE, this, this kind of servo that he has, uh, amount of torque, only 166, more than enough torque for that vehicle. The vehicle's not heavy. Uh, I'm not climbing rocks. I'm basically just on dirt roads. You could go crazy and go 277, 277 ounces of torque like this guy, or even this guy here. Uh, and you'll be fine too, there's no problem. Now, there's one thing you have to make sure if you're looking for a servo with multiple highest torque as possible, Savox do have one that's close to 500 ounces of torque, but there's a disadvantage sometimes going higher in torque, you'll lose speed. It's gonna be a slower servo. If you look like this one here, it's a 0 0.15 at 277 ounces of torque. And if you look like the uh, Savox 1258 TG, it's a 0 0.08, very fast servo, slow servo, but a lot of torque. You have to basically balance uh, correctly to be able for your application. I hope this has helped you guys a bit. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks a lot.